Yes, build my minions, build! Hello everybody at YouTube, how's it going? It's your boy Paul. It's been a while, but I finally thought I should make a YouTube video. So here I am, and here you are, and here we are together. And today we are playing... I think you guessed by now. Foundation. It's very time-consuming, though, and the, the learning curve for it is super high. But it's it's definitely a great game to play if you like, like a gen... I wouldn't say a generic, I'm, I'd say more of like an organic city building game. So today you're just gonna be, this is what we're playing. All right, so here we are and by God, all of this UI is scary. I mean, there is just so much to learn. I mean, they even have a help section now. They didn't used to have a help section. So if you're playing this game now, Lucky you. Looks so good. Even that blur effect, the front. Ooh. Love it. The first foundation video I made, this is the same map. I think just for some like nostalgic feeling, we're gonna play in the same area that we started off with last time. So let's just set that up. And well, oh yeah, we need a village center, which is just a couple of crates. Kind of lame. I feel like it should be a little, a little bit more umph to it than that. The villagers look pretty. Damn, those eyes. Look at that. I am here for any command. Okay, so this is where we have people do stuff. So we're gonna have builders, woodcutters, foragers. We'll have two foragers. Uh, stone cutter. Market tender because we need that to level up uh, our civilians in order to get like more buildings Then on top of that we have um, Transporter what we don't need right now You know, let's just keep these builders and kind of move from there and then maybe even a forager as well And from what I remember you're supposed to paint these zones There we go Paint zones. So you're gonna be, we're gonna be extracting some stuff, some extracting some some resources here, and we're just gonna paint these little areas, these resources. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. So now that we have all that set up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be making a gathering hut because obviously we're gonna need. Food, right? So we're gonna set this up right here. Yeah, right there. Uh, I like how you can place it a little bit closer to those now. That's nice. I don't remember if you could do that in the beginning, but it's something I definitely don't remember you could do. So it's, it's nice that you can do that. And we're also gonna make a stone cutters camp right by it. And I think we're gonna place this kind of right here to kind of just set the setting a little bit more. We need a market, a food stall, and we'll put the food stall right here. How about right here? Yeah. Yeah. Boom! Food stall. The warehouse so we can trade later on, I believe. It, it gotta get it just right for the aesthetically pleasing purposes. So we got that set up. Gathering hut. We got that. We got. A, we don't have a sawmill actually, which we're gonna need to turn things into planks. We're gonna put the sawmill right here, nice and cozy. Oh, nice and cozy. We're gonna head back to the villager list because we're gonna want some more builders. All right. I feel like there's a lot of building going on. Building complete market. And I think all we have to do right now at this point is put berries, and then we get something maybe supposed to give us access to create homes, I believe. I don't know. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Like, being new on YouTube into the streaming platform itself, like, I'm not really new, but I'm still new. I'm just, like, kind of relieved for YouTube because I could say something stupid, right, and edit it out. I can get rid of it. I don't have to worry. If it's too stupid, it's gone instantaneously. I could say the word and it'll go away just by adding a bleep the word and by the way children you never knew if i said the word 
because I'm bleeping it out right now which is what I love about editing. And boom, bada bang, now we have residential areas accessible to us. Uh, the kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant, Mr. King. And now we can start adding residential areas. And I believe they can only, houses will only be placed in like green zones, I think. I think the quality of the house or something like that, really, it depends. So we're just gonna come up here and just draw whatever we want because that's how we live our life. And now as you can see, our little buddies here, they're starting to place houses pretty nicely by the way. And that's why I said at the beginning, like an organic, like a very, very organic like city builder because you yourself, you don't place the houses, you kind of just place the work areas and then they place where they want their houses and it just it gives this like organic feeling to the game it's very very nice oh look she's stepping in the stone that is the marks of a true stone cutters ladies and gentlemen when you become one with the stone oh you can see how happy they are they look it says they're 50 percent but they look pretty sad by the the emblem oh he's happy no nope, never mind he is not happy he is not happy i think i might have i think i might have messed up here lumber camp that might be a good idea that might be a great excellent idea there we go you know i just really love the concept of editing i mean i could be wearing a black shirt right now and then boom i'm wearing a red shirt later it's just so amazing how awesome, how awesome editing is. I mean, I cannot express to you how awesome editing is. Just amazing. You know, I just really wish these guys here would get their job done. Their freaking job done. Yay, a house is, oh, and they look so nice now. They just look so pretty. Besides that, bad normals. Bad normals. Bad normals. Look at that, guys. Thanks to Infinity Ward, I am now able to analyze and understand the concept of gaming better. Alright, everyone. Let's concentrate less on the houses and more on getting of the Trade Center open so we can start making money. Money. I've played it before. I shouldn't be this bad. Oh, look at these little tiny baby houses. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a series because I really love this game and I bought it and I, I haven't really played it that much. So I feel like I need to pay a little bit more attention to these single player games that I have that I have and haven't beaten or played through at least once. So now that we have that, I think I'm going to sell the planks and um, keep the berries, the excess berries and planks. We can start um, setting up trading ports. I think to do that first, we're going to need 20 wooden planks. So once these guys get 20 wooden planks in here, we should be set up to start trading. So now that we have 45 planks, we can go here into the trade. And you can see that this is gold. This is green. Gold. I wish it was gold. But it's green, so we can unlock this. And now trade is enabled. And there's one place that these people will never go, and it's right here. Why? Because... My lord, we need to choose who we want to help! I shall assist the king! Hmm. I shall assist the clergy. I shall assist the people! Deliver five... Well, we can't deliver five bread. I'm keeping it all. I don't have a bread station. Damn it! Foundation! <laughs> don't give me the ability to do something unless I have it. Oh, look, the little baby trees are dancing. They're dancing. The baby trees are dancing. Look how happy they are. What the hell is up with these dancing trees? They're dancing. Now we have more land to work with, and we can start painting some more residential areas in here.
except everywhere is no bueno. And I think that's because uh, we need like more things in this area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a rustic church because I, I, I don't remember what the rustic church does, but I, I know it gives the people something. I think it gives them like splendor, which is needed to purchase more building types. So our church isn't gonna be that big because I really want that splendor as fast as I possibly can get it. So we're gonna place this right now with the door. Um, what are the types of doors? That's boring. That's not as boring. I like that one, or we can do this one. I feel like this one matches the style better, so that's what we're gonna go with. Um, and then we get, we have some small towers we can attach, but I want I think I'm just gonna give it like that generic, that generic look that you typically find in like those horror movies where it's just like one, one thing with a little tiny ch church tower in the back. And, oh! See what I'm talking about, YouTubers? 5.30% splendor. Isn't that splendid? I think the way this game works is like depending on where the workload is or the work sites is where they'll place their houses. I think once we build a church too, we also get access to other things as well. We'll not only get splendor, but I think it'll raise our, uh, our villagers up from a seraph to a commoner, which will give us access to wheat fields, forests, or it'll give us access to wheat farms, windmills, and a bakery, which will be awesome because we'll have more things to trade and make money off of and sell to people. Worst phrase I've ever heard in my life. Get a job! I remember a large part of my life, I was trying to find a job, and I couldn't find one, and every day would be like, you need to get a job. I was like, I'm trying, damn it. <laughs> Stop rubbing it in my face. Hurry up, damn it. Hurry up, Willy Bard. Willy Bard! Willy Bard! Come on, Willy Bard. Let's get it, buddy. He's the master builder. Hey, master builder, why is there grass in the well, Willy Bard? Too bad he's not bald, because you could be like, you're really bald, Willy Bard. Willy Bard. You Willy Bard. One million likes for this video, and I will name my first pet dog when I get him Willy Bow. Oh, and now the church is finished and like I said, raise your villagers. Oh no. Yeah, your villagers have reached a new status commoner and on top of that, I believe we have Splendor? What's going on? They should have gotten Splendor. The Splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. What do you mean? Faithful attendance. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's going to be it for the video today. This is going to be a series. And remember, make sure to like this, sub to this channel, and do all that other fancy stuff. And also remember, one million likes, and I named my first dog Willy Ball. Okay. Um, next episode, I think we're going to add in wheat farms along with... A weaver's hut, tailor shop, sheep farm, all that stuff, guys. There's going to be a lot in store for the future. So I will catch you guys later. Have an awesome day, and God loves you.